Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil uh, Director's Cut. Let's continue, shall we? So, yeah, uh, I found out actually that my controller battery, I think, is okay. It's just my, um, <clears throat> the actual cable is not okay. Um, right, so we've got the flamethrower there, which uh, I guess we could take in fact we need to take it to open one of the doors so let's start exploring shall we hopefully we're not going to bump into somebody that gets horribly murdered and shot in fact I'm somewhat confident that we've gone the wrong way, actually. <clears throat> but there is a first aid spray here, which I guess we'll pick up for the lols, although we are rapidly running out of space, which is not great, to say the least. Okay, let's go. We need to find our friend Enrique. Oh, God. Oh, we've just gone in a complete full circle because, uh, of course, we have. Yeah, I guess my memory <coughs> of this game is starting to uh, fade a little bit. Isn't Enrique down here? And then we get uh, like attacked by loads of hunters. Ah, uh, this is more like it. Enrico! Or Enrico, I should say. Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser! Don't! Uh, hell. Umbrella. <laughs> hmm. And that's the story of Who him. Who is it? I is someone there? <laughs> Double crosser? What did he mean by that? I wonder, Chris. Could he mean that somebody has double crossed us? I like the fact he um, also questions uh, Is somebody there? No, Chris. No, the bullet just flew out of the Invisible Man. I'm pretty sure he's got ammo on him. Maybe. Uh, not in this mode, I guess. Come on, then. Let's be having ya. I was going to say, it isn't just one of you little fuckers. Come on. Let's be having you. There we go. I think there's like four of these guys that spawn. It's something like that. <coughs> yep. Keep tapping that button. Tap that button. Come on. Where are you? There's no point in hiding. Oh, really? Apart from when... Apparently, the gun doesn't fire. Yeah, that's also the danger of hunters. Let's try that again, shall we? With a little bit less failure. If we could possibly muster that. Come to Papa. Come on. One. Now, luckily, the other one doesn't notice the danger that he's in, which is rather good. All right, <clears throat> fine. Oh, oh! I forgot there was three. I thought there was four total. Well, shows what I know, doesn't it? Um, so we've got the crank, which is the only thing we need now. Of course. 
Uh, it's a power generator, but it does not seem to work. Yeah, they turned that into a new puzzle in uh, Resident Evil Remake, which was really cool. And of course, that middle section there, you could go deeper down into the mines. And yeah, it was a, a really nice expansion of this area. Come on. Sure, there's just two of them here. Yep. Kind of interesting. They give us the flamethrower here, but... Um, I mean... I don't think it's that great. And obviously we can't leave with the flamethrower. It's rather pitiful weapon, to be fair. Apparently you were going to be able to... Uh, I think we've got to unquip it. You were going to be able to pick up ammo for it and stuff like that, but <clears throat> that never made it into the final game, sadly, as we can see. Right, let's get the old piece back. Now we have the crank. Just what we wanted. And of course, we've got a typewriter there, but... We can't use the type. Well, we can use. It. Nah, there might be herbs there. Um, that one we need. Now I can't remember if there's any like secrets here involving this area. I'm gonna say, oh, looks like we're gonna cycle it right round. It's not here where we have the extra Brucey little bonus, is it? It's a little bit further on. So, let's move up. Yeah, so strange they give you the flamethrower to take out those hunters with. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to... Oh, there's another one there as well. I wouldn't really want to deal with hunters with a flamethrower. But that's just me. Let's take it, just for the sake of it. Thank you! Oh, of course. Did 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 Do we not go f quite far enough? I think we need to like walk straight up to it. There we go. Did 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 Run, Chris! Ah! Uh! You know, I always get sketched out by that, no matter how many times I do this. What a mansion. Uh-oh. What could that be? Oh, hunters. Should we try the flamethrower out on his ass? Just to experiment. Now, there's some more mag rounds here. Which is, you know, very much appreciated. Because that takes us back up to 40. But, <clears throat> let's have a little go with the flamethrower. See the way he just, like, clips straight through there. Now, you can aim up and down with it, which is curious. Hmm. It's not awful. And it does hold them back. Okay. I guess maybe I should have um, taken the opportunity to use this a bit more than I ever really did. <coughs> uh, pretty sure there's nothing else through here. Apart from Black Tiger. Don't think Black Tiger's gonna like uh, the flamethrower too much. And considering we literally have fuck all ammo left for it, there's no point. Alright, let's put down the flamer. We need a space anyway. Now, of course, <coughs> we don't need to fight Black Tiger. But where's the fun in that? <coughs> where's the fun in that? Not very strong. Three magnum shots. 
poisoned. Three magnum shots literally turns it into chunks. Uh, and it does spawn an awful lot of babies. Which we can just enjoy. Squishing. Squish. Yes. Squish you little bastards. Squish you out of existence. There we go, huh? Ah, now the boot's on the other foot. Hey, eh? Huh? You like that one? Yeah. Right, okay. You can actually use the flamethrower and guns as well, I think. To, um... Oh, can we not quite get him? No. Can we get these? Yes! Yes! We're making the world a safer place. Alright. Fine. Whatever. Yeah, you can make the world a safer place uh, by treading on those guys. And you can use guns and whatnot. At least, let's just experiment, shall we? Oh, uh, maybe you can't. Is that really right? Okay, I actually thought you could use um, guns to shoot that off as well. I guess you have to use either the flamethrower or the knife. That's fine. I think we've just about dealt with the last of the hunters. Just about. I don't think there's any more. I always think this underground section is way longer than it actually is as well. Kind of... Oh, we need the flamethrower, don't we? But we can't use the flamethrower. Luckily, there is an item box back up here. Kind of like the lab in Resident Evil 2. I always, for some reason, I always have it in my head. And I know Resident Evil uh, games aren't that long. But whenever I think of the game, I think, oh, you know, it's a 10 hour long game or something. And the, the final area of Resident Evil 2 takes uh, like an hour or hour and a half on its own. Blah, blah, blah. But really, when you think about it, the... <clears throat> actual um oh are we kind of already out of space no not really but we're not far off yeah when you think about it i mean the final lab section of resident evil 2 is very short very very short i don't know if we actually need to pick up the shotgun at all to be honest uh, kind of tempted to bring it out of retirement, but we've still got some magnum ammo to get yet. And most of our, um, you know, base level enemies are long dispatched. Right, let's put the car... Where are you? F8 spray. Right, let's grab a green and a blue herb, and that should be good for now. There we go. Excellent. Right, let's go back and get the flight. What is that? Oh, it's just a shadow. Kind of looks like there's something there, but nope, it's just a shadow. <coughs> okay. Now we need the bloody flamethrower. We could have had a bit of fun, I think, with Black Tiger, I guess. Because we had to bring it through here anyway. So we could have experimented a little bit more with it. I'm hoping this coffee's keeping my cough at bay, but it kind of really isn't. Oh, man. Uh, right, flamethrower's back there. Can you see why I probably wouldn't be very good at speedrunning this game? In fact, I would guarantee that I would not be very good at speedrunning this game. Now, one thing I also like about uh, Resident Evil is pretty much you can go all the way back to the start location in this game. There's never uh, any point of no returns, which I kind of like. I mean, I suppose you could say... Uh, when the uh, countdown starts happening. Let's see, can you... Ah, right, so it doesn't matter if it's in your inventory. Okay. Pr 
probably should have picked up the wolf medallion. And the crank. Do we need the wolf medallion and the crank? Sure, yeah, there is one more room where we need it, isn't there? I'm kind of thinking a lot about the remake, but... I know... Yeah, I keep getting confused with the remake. Um, I know in the remake you need the crank quite a lot. And we definitely need the wolf medallion. Which is apparently somewhere. Ah, right, crank. It is that one that we need. And it's the eagle that we have, not the wolf. Titan, you fool! God. People used to say you're the Resident Evil guy. Actually, nobody ever said that. Just one person that I can think of, but still. One's better than none, right? <coughs> Actually, no, two people. Yeah. I remember two people saying that. Um, okay. <sighs> Ready, 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 ready. Back, 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 back. Right, see you later, bastard. And there is our final, final book. You got the map of the underground as well, which I guess we shall take it. Lovely. And look at this. Oop. There was a medal in the book. The wolf and the eagle. Sweet. They look really cool as well. Nothing else in that alcove. Uh, so, we've got this hidey little hole here. And... Let's start using this crank, shall we? Come on, Chris. Crank quicker than that, man. While we're still reasonably young. There we go. Crank that shit, Chris. <coughs> Beautiful. Now, let's go have a little poke around for a modisk, I believe. Oh, it's got the really cool music in here. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting as well. Um, now, the American version of this game had uh, that awful, absolutely awful music in the basement, the fart track. Now... Apparently, they changed that in this version of the game. So, although it is obviously the director's cut, if you're American, uh, you don't have to put up that shitty um, fart track, which, for whatever reason, they decided to change awful, awful stuff. No idea what the hell they were thinking. The Mad Men, honestly. Uh, oh, that's a lab key. Okay. I thought that was a Mo disc. Interesting. <coughs> Maybe it was a Mo disc in the uh, other mode. That's a reasonably well hidden room, to be fair. All right. So we have everything we need. We can drop that down. Yeah, actually. Let's go drop a load of stuff off for a minute. Let's go jiggle our junk around. Optimize that inventory. <laughs> micro USB cables for controllers. Oh, micro USB. What an awful connection that was. Terrible stuff. Uh, right, so we don't need that. 
potentially, well, no, there's no potentially about it. We don't need that ever again. We don't need the Magnum. And we're about to use those two up. Cool. Right. <coughs> I don't think there's any more enemies between us and our intended target. Let's go, Chris. Run! Burn those calories. He's probably getting pretty hungry by now. Probably fancies a nice juicy steak. Mm-mm. Mmm, -mm. that does sound reasonably good right now. Or a pizza. Ooh, I think I've got a pizza, actually. I can hear dags. Dags. Bloody dags. Right, let's grab up these herbs, because, hello, herbs. There's nothing in the lab that can actually poison us, I don't think. Interesting that you get to this point and there's no more hunters. It's so strange that they were literally just for that kind of final section. Or that midsection, I should say. In the actual final section, there isn't any, of course. That mid-game um, difficulty spike. For unknown reasons. I mean, it served its purpose, I guess. It was, <clears throat> you know, it added a lot of tension in the beginning of the game. A picture of a wolf. Yep. Um, I did actually have the GameCube, uh, GameCube, the, um, Game Boy version of this game. It was never complete, though, and I remember you could get to this part of it with some hacks and some cheats. But you couldn't um, open this door. Apparently with some other hacks and cheats you could get a little bit further and somebody said eventually they made it so you could kind of complete the game. <clears throat> Very interesting concept. But we got uh, Resident Evil Gaiden instead which... Well, that was a thing wasn't it? It was an interesting little experiment. I think that's the kindest thing we can say about it. Okay. Right, let's go. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Yes! Descend down deeper underground. Okay. Now, let's stuff all of our goodies back. Listen to that music. Oh my god, that music. Really good. So for the Beretta, oh good lord. So we've got 379 bullets for the Beretta. Should we take the shotgun back? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's take the Colt. <coughs> We are going to want to save some of the coal ammo for later on, but we're still going to get a few magnum bullets anyway. Boop. Boop. Zombie, fall down. Funny. Come on, dude. Just something so much fun about using the magnum. Now we've got the uh, naked zombies downstairs that kind of regen for a while. There isn't actually, from what I can remember, genuinely unlimited uh, numbers of them. Now, I think we could actually potentially have the Mo disc, And if we were smart, uh, we could use it there, I think. Is it there that we use the MoDisc? Maybe not, no. So that one's locked. We need to head downstairs. <coughs> I like how bleak this area looks as well. Have you noticed in the new Resident Evils, 
All the labs look so clinical and pristine and perfect. Which makes more sense, yes. But this looks like it's been decayed for a long time. And these naked zombies that have obviously been experimented on, they just sound horrifying. There we go. Yeah, throw the key away. Get rid of it. Oh, yeah, he's down the corridor, isn't he? One more. There we go. Now, they might come back. But I, uh, I don't think they're going to continuously keep coming back. You might get another load of them. Hey, buddy. Oh, you look rough, sir. There we go. that make you feel better. Oh. Right, that solved that problem. Now, let's go jiggle our junk around. Now, there should be some nice goodies in here. Some magnum rounds, because we're nearly running out of those. 34, that should do it. Uh, there's also some herbage, which is always a welcome sight. Okay. So you can see, if we didn't go quite so crazy with all the green herbs, you absolutely could see that you could fill this inventory up. Because we've used a lot of herbs, right? But there really isn't a lot of space left at all. But, you know, we're going to keep picking up these herbs because we can. And it seems to be the reasonable thing to do here. Like so. And then we can dump them back in our box. Okay. I guess we're just going to drop them wherever we've got a little bit of space. We've got nearly 40 magnum bullets, which is going to keep us going for a while. Okay. So we can't go in here yet, I don't think. We can, actually. Interesting. Ah, oh, I love the atmosphere here. Oof. Now what lies within? Why do I get the feeling that these guys can sometimes take two magnum rounds? A power panel. Some areas do not have power. Will you activate the blackout areas? Yes. Now I don't think we can do anything down here yet. Oh my god, it's so good against these. The Magnum. It's so efficient. Okay. <coughs> I don't think there's like any vents or anything that these guys can escape from. Not like in the remake where they... Ah, there's a Modisk reader. So we need a modisk for that room. How are we doing? Ah, where are all these guys? I am surprised. Definitely a couple in here. Now well, there's a couple less now. Oh, hello. Horrifying little creatures, these. These were made from, like, forcefully impregnating women or something. They've got a really rather horrific backstory to them. Ah, there's the battery that we need. a triggering system activator. It's quite big. So, 
in Chris's campaign, we don't need to actually set the bomb off. We can let our good old friend Rebecca do that. So we need to start collecting Mo discs. I'm hoping I haven't forgotten any. Now there was one time I actually played this where I forgot the battery. Yeah, we still have so many bullets for this gun. Um, I suppose we could probably put the battery here. Oh, wait, no. It's not where the battery goes, is it? Uh, right, okay. Let's go in here. This is where you have that annoying box puzzle. It's really easy to screw up. And I can't re oh, red herb. Uh red herb shotgun shells. Let's grab these. Red herb is always useful. I am absolutely determined to fill up <coughs> the uh item box. Okay, so we've got two boxes here and we have two vents that spit out toxic poisonous gas uh, right okay I remember what we do I think potentially maybe this old brain of mine. Actually, we could have gone back and dropped some stuff off, but it doesn't matter. Uh, first things first. Let's get rid of this. Uh, for now. Like that. Can we still get around the side of it? Yeah. So, I'm going to push you. Straight ahead. Maybe just... Shit. Shit. You know what. There we go. Can we just push that in a little bit more? There we go. I, th I haven't triggered that for a very long time, but here we go, I suppose. Now's the chance. Now, I think there's like multiple ways of actually solving this one, but... This is how we're going to do it. Yes. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Just so we can get under it. Can we get under it? Yeah. That will work, Donkey. That will work. Might not have been the most elegant and efficient route, but it will work. Kind of strange that there's that little switch there. <laughs> just there, under the vent. Just in case something happens. I don't know. Can't search that either, which is a bit strange. Right, let's get these incredibly rusted steps and go stick them over that. There we go. That isn't anything there, is it? Instruments for operations of Bloodstone. Yeah, I mean, these rooms, they're cool, but they, in the remake, they made this place look so much, so much grittier and just, ugh. Just nightmare fuel. Absolute nightmare fuel. Some more magnum rounds there. Lovely. You're not fooling anybody, sunshine. Right, we also potentially <coughs> are carrying too much stuff. Hey, d hey, hey, dude. Hey, dude. Oof. Right, it's a passcode output machine. If I had a modisk, yes, all right, game. If we had a modisk. I get you. You unlocked it. Uh, 
Right, so there's the Modesk machine. So we're still minus two Modesks. That's okay. Pretty sure we haven't fucked up too badly. If at all. Right, let's go empty our stuff out. Try to work out how many, like, magnum rounds there must have been in this game. We must have had over a hundred by now. Surely. Or at least, uh, close to. Very close to. Uh, right, so let's stick you there. You know, uh, I was going to say, should we grab the shotgun back? But honestly, there's no point, man. As much as I kind of wouldn't say no. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, shells. The trouble with this cough is there's like very little warning of when it's going to just come at you. It just comes out of nowhere. Before you know it, you're choking. Uh, right. Shotgun shells. We're going to go use that up. I don't think we need the battery yet. I'm pretty sure we literally do need that to escape. Alright, let's go. Let's go use the Modisk back in the generator room. Uh, yeah, down here. And I wonder if we've got any more of those um, chimeras. Pretty sure we've exterminated the lot. There was definitely more of them. In the remake as well. I mean, there wasn't loads of them, but there was more. Right, let's go use the first Modisk. What do you mean, if you had a Modisk? We've got one in our pocket. Oh shit. <laughs> and through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have betrayed me. I think, yeah, I was going to say that's technically the last one. Alright, whatever. Not gonna lie, I'm a fan of the rewind. Definitely a fan of the rewind. More games for rewind, please. Okay. Um, yeah. Might as well top up whilst we're not under attack by thousands of zombies. Now we should. Oh, hello. Remember what I said about being attacked by thousands of zombies? Didn't even hear him. <sighs> oh, his head's come off. Alright, there should be another one. There. There we go. Now. There is an ink ribbon here, or oh, there used to be at one. There we go. It's too dark to see anything. Oh. Okay. Maybe you need the lighter. Not sure. Kind of strange. Uh, right. Well, we should be able to go up here now. I think. <coughs> maybe. Or maybe not yet. No, we haven't done that yet, have we? You fool! That never happened, did it, guys? Did it, guys? That's right. Okay. I don't make mistakes. I create them. Wait, what? 